More and more secrets are coming out about Governor Tim Walz's military service. So in this video, we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to the Devore Darkin Show. I am Devore Darkins. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can get this out to more people just like you and me. For all my veterans out there, this story does not end. I mean, more and more videos are coming out exposing the lies that are coming from Governor Tim Walz. Listen, he served 24 years. That is a fact. He should be thanked for his service. That is a fact. He did retire. That is a fact. What is not a fact, that he retired as a command sergeant major. I already did a video on this. I'll link it in the description if you haven't seen it. But they are still running with this, and it's still on his website. And here's the whole point in the video. You still have people that are as delusional as you can be that are coming out and pushing back on this lie, like a Montel Williams, who happens to be, you know, the pimp for Kamala Harris. And we're going to get into his whole take. Um, and then we also have a Navy SEAL that ripped Tim Walsh about this. So without further ado, let's get into these videos. What do you think of this attack line and the use of the term stolen valor, which is a very divisive term to be used against someone who served for 24 years? You know, I came in a long time ago, back in 1974. Delayed entry program. Went through the. You Marine, went to the Marines, right? Marine Corps, Marine Corps. Went through boot camp at Paris Island. When I came in, we were still extracting people from Vietnam. Right. I didn't go to Vietnam, but I'm a Vietnam era vet. Very proud of that. The fact that I put my life on the line at a time when it wasn't vogue for us to join and enlist in the service. But at the time, because I didn't go into combat, I still have the right to actually say I am a combat vet. I think with Walls, he has a right to say what he said. If he carried that rifle from the armory over to the practice range to qualify, he carried a, wep a weapon that is a weapon of war. So I don't understand. Yeah, he's absolutely right. Uh, he doesn't understand. And that's the whole issue for someone who did serve in the military. And I think Montel Williams' problem uh, is two things. Number one, he's obviously a propaganda puppet for the Kamala Harris campaign. That's why he's even on there. Uh, stick it up for her. They obviously have history. Uh, we already know that story. And then the second point, he served so long ago. Like, I think he's just really out of touch with the way veterans think today. And it's a very simple conversation that it's almost ridiculous to even entertain. Did you go to a combat zone? I don't even care if you actually participated in shooting enemies and killing them. Like, it doesn't even matter. Did you go to a combat zone? Yes or no? The answer for Governor Tim Walz is no, he did not go to a, a combat zone. Did he support people who did? Yes. So why not just say that? But to say that, well, because I served during the Vietnam era and I didn't go to the Vietnam War, I should still be able to call myself a combat veteran. I'm telling you, if veterans heard what Montel Williams just said, it, they would lose it. They would lose it. This is zero tolerance. This is absolutely delusional. But guess what? There are other people on this panel that sets them straight. Let's let's take a look at that. When you embellish that record, and it's little things, not just whether you were carrying the weapon of war into war, but saying that you that you retired as a command sergeant major when you never achieved that rank because you didn't complete the school. You were promoted to it, but you had to complete the school. You retired, you go back down to EH, you go back down to sergeant major, yet his biography still lists him as a command sergeant major. Yeah, exactly. His bio still says command sergeant major. And again, you guys know me. I have the receipts. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're on the minnesota.gov website here. And here is his bio. Okay, he's the 41st governor. Amazing. Um, born in a small town in rural Nebraska. Okay, amazing. That's fine. Um, and then so right here, which I will zoom in for you guys, because this is where it gets really crazy. He says here, uh, after 24 years in the Army National Guard, Command Sergeant Major Walls retired from the 1st and the 125th Field Artillery Battalion in 2005. OK, so what it should read for people out there, if you do not know, it should read after 24 years in the Army National Guard, Master Sergeant Walls, because that is what his DD-214 says. And if you guys don't know what a DD-214, it's the official military record that proves you served in the military, what rank you got discharged as, 
and your status of how you were discharged. Was it honorable or dishonorable? So he had an honorable discharge. He was discharged as a master sergeant, not a command sergeant major. So a lot of people are like, well, why does this even matter? Because I keep telling you guys, it's the character. Don't lie about something so so small like this. Now, to veterans, this is huge. For people who've never served, they wouldn't really care or understand how significant this is. But it, it is. And um, to give you guys an example how people who have never served and how they feel about it and how delusional they are, uh, let, let's take a look at this clip. Well, here is Tim Walls, who enlisted when he was 17 years old. He served in the National Guard for 24 years. And I'm not aware of any military service that J.D. Vance has ever uh, served. So let's just make the comparison there. And what happened uh, in the tragedy well, of the he, killing he was of in the George Marines, Floyd but... and then the unrest... Yeah, okay, pardon me yeah. for that. J.D. Vance has criticized him as never having been in combat. And has he? And has he? Uh, well, has J.D. Vance well, been in combat? Well, he, I think he was over in Iraq, I think, as, you know, as a public relations officer, as a communications officer. I think that's the case. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, there are people uh, in the media like delusional Nancy Pelosi. Um, who didn't even know that J.D. Vance served in the military, and are, they're using that as a deflection from how uh, embarrassing it is for someone that became the governor of a state to lie about what his rank was when he retired. Let me be very clear with you guys. The issue is not that he served 24 years. I don't even think the weapons of war comment that he made is really that big of an issue. The issue is that on his website, he is claiming to be a command sergeant major retired that is 100 percent false and that is stolen valor now for good measure i'll even show you clips of when he was in congress where people were addressing him as such let's take a look yeah, i intend to recognize the uh, sponsor of this thoughtful resolution but i think it's important for our colleagues to recognize his service as well mr waltz from minnesota spent 24 years himself in the Army National Guard. Uh, so he has had a full life of service to this country. I don't think he knew when he enlisted at the young age of 17 that he would end up uh, so many years in the Army National Guard. He also became a teacher, uh, but achieved the ranking of Command Sergeant Major. So I'm pleased to recognize Command Sergeant Major Waltz, my friend and colleague from Minnesota, the sponsor of this thoughtful resolution. Yeah, so you guys seen that, right? They're st they were even addressing him in that way, even though that was not what's on his DD-214. And so for people out there, it it's becoming a huge issue because he has been using this title for political gain. And that's where you lose your credibility and your trust, especially with the veteran community. Are there veterans out there that are still going to support Tim Walsh? Absolutely, because I believe they're caught up in the propaganda machine. But I think there's a lot of veterans out there who are going to see this and call it what it is. This is stolen valor. And I really love this take on it from Scott Jennings. Let's take a look. And I, I do think there's some evidence that Walls has at least embellished at times his record to some degree. One thing on the fact check we're not talking about tonight is that when his campaign started for Congress, he did issue a press release acknowledging that he'd already been notified they may be going to Iraq. We're not talking about that much, but he, he knew it. He did get out and he did chose, uh, choose to go into politics. That's a fact. Now, you can say it's not bad or it's good. or He it's served a, America. He wore the patch, the flag of the United States on his shoulder. He should be heralded for that. But do not embellish your record. Do not yeah. embellish your achievements to score political he, points or you run the risk of getting called out. He, he is using his military record, though, to try to achieve a policy end, which is why I think this is being discussed in the campaign. He's, he's using his service to then advocate for the gun control policies that he prefers. He's so there is a weapons of war shouldn't be allowed yeah. on the streets, which of most of Americans agree schools. with. So there's a so there's a nexus between his military record, which we all agree exists, and what he's trying to do with it in the context of his political career. So I do think it's a fair it's a fair assessment of his yeah, words it, about it. It's absolutely a fair criticism. Do not call yourself to be something you're not. Uh, even if you were supposed to be a command sergeant major doesn't mean you are one. OK, so that and again, we go back to the whole DD-214 situation. It doesn't say that on there. 
So it's a lie. It's absolutely a lie. And so there are other individuals coming out that are veterans that are absolutely destroying him over this. Um, and we even have a Navy SEAL, a former Navy SEAL, pointing this out. And so let's listen to his take. Day two of Tim Waltz on the campaign trail as the VP nominee. And this guy has already become the laughing stock, but he has particularly angered veterans like me with previous claims servicing that he actually went to war. Uh, we told you last night that he resigned early from his enlistment because his unit was to be deployed to Iraq. But that didn't stop him a few years ago when he was campaigning saying, oh, I'd gone to war. I've been voting for common sense legislation that protects the Second Amendment, but we can do background checks. We can do CDC research. We can make sure we don't have reciprocal carry among states. And we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are at. Weapons of war that you carried in war. Okay, Tim, what weapon and in what war did you carry it in? J.D. Vance had the same question today. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. Now, everybody is asking him this question, including, finally, the press pool is. Governor, Vance accused you of stolen valor. Your response. Governor. Governor, Vance accused you of stolen valor. Your response. Guy didn't even try to answer the question. This needs to be asked every single day, folks. This is super important. Look, th this is the cardinal sin among veterans to claim military service that you did not do. It's so verifiable that I I'm like beside myself that someone would say they went to war when they didn't especially when guys like him got out of the military because they were being called to war. The, the center of all this, all of his political campaigns have been, oh, look at me, I'm a veteran. And, and it's like Tim Waltz either didn't notice or think we would notice or maybe that we're too dumb to comprehend, like most Democrats. He just lies with impunity and thinks that, therefore, that's the truth. Yesterday at his rally, he took a jab at Trump. And, and, and look, I was like, bro, this is not going to end well for your political career. First of all, he doesn't know the first thing about service. <laughs> he doesn't have time for it because he's too busy serving himself. Look, I'm tired of your, and also I'm tired of your bone spur talking point from Vietnam. Okay, look, Trump was not in the military, but... You want to talk about service, dude? Trump almost got shot in the head three weeks ago. He took one in the ear instead and stood up and yelled, fight, 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 and then went out and did another rally like two days later. DJT is a billionaire who could be sitting on a private beach somewhere that he owns, drinking margaritas in the sun, but nope. Instead, he's getting prosecuted in deep blue jurisdictions for things that aren't even crimes. In one case, by a prosecutor who was illegally appointed, who raided his Mar-a-Lago home. DJT spends every day getting crapped on by like 90% of the media who just prior to him running as a Republican, they used to love him. Don't lecture me about service, Tim. You got a military paycheck for 24 years to prepare for war. And the second they called your name, you dipped out. You joined the military. But then when you were called to do the one thing, the one thing the military trained you to do and counted on you doing, which is go to war, you bailed, Tim Waltz. Yeah, that's absolutely facts. And, uh, you know, for him to even make that comment, I don't think he's going to do that again. Uh, I think there's been a few snap foods from Tim Wallace's uh, rhetoric uh, since joining the campaign that he probably will not repeat. I don't think he's going to touch that service remark because, again, there's a lot of veterans coming out questioning him, questioning how he's been using the command sergeant major title when he is not a command sergeant major, did not retire as a command sergeant major. Uh, was he up to be a command sergeant major? Yes. Did they want him to be a command sergeant major? Yes. Was he going to be able to go to the academy so he could be certified as a command sergeant major? Yes. But did he complete the academy? No. And what does this DD-214 say? Master sergeant. So it's a freaking lie. And that's why I'm continuing to push this because, guys, it's a propaganda machine. These freaking hacks. If you didn't hear it, 
Nancy Pelosi's main goal right now is to make sure President Trump does not become the next president. He never steps foot in the White House again. That is her whole purpose in life right now. And so they are going to do whatever is possible. They don't even care if they have to uh, burn down this country. They don't even care if the policies they're implementing are not going to help you and me. Even if it makes our lives worse, they will do it because they hate President Trump that much. It's that crazy out there right now. So uh, as I wrap up this video, I want to say this. Uh, more videos, uh, more people are coming out of the woodwork exposing Governor Tim Walz's military service and how he's been misrepresenting um, what he retired as, uh, his whole comment about um, carry uh, weapons in war. Um, he was not in a war. He was not in a combat zone. You've never heard J.D. Vance say something like that, which is why J.D. Vance has never gotten flack for his military service. And that's the comparison. So for people in the back who are like, well, why is this such a big deal? It's because Governor Tim Walz has made it a big deal. He made it a big deal that he was a command sergeant major retired. He pushed that label. He put it on his website. You never see J.D. Vance claim to be something he He's not when it came to his military service. He never said, I'm a combat veteran. He didn't say any of that. But on the other hand, Governor Tim Walz, he can't say that for himself. So again, it is an issue in the veteran community. Uh, this is an embarrassment. He should not be misrepresenting his uh, military service, especially the rank that he retired at. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, stolen valor. So I want to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say about uh, some of these media hacks trying to bury this story. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about how that former Navy SEAL uh, just ripped Tim Walz a new one uh, and what he had to say. So why don't you share your answers and more in the comment section below. If you haven't seen my first video on this, the link is in the description or just click on this video right now. Stay grateful, stay focused and stay true. Peace.